Good morning and welcome if you are new here. My name is Jaden and I have been vlogging my journey as a first time bikini competitor since 12 weeks out. We are officially on three weeks out and I'm super excited to bring you along throughout the day. Today, just like every day that I vlog, it seems is going to be not my average typical day. I am taking a rest and recovery day. The last couple days I've been dealing with some type of small sinus infection. But anyways, I am gonna listen to some worship music, spend some time with God this morning, and I will catch you when I am going through the Starbucks drive through Hi, can I get a venti americano with sugar-free vanilla and four packs of Splenda? I cannot tell you how excited I am for my coffee. <laughs> When I'm not feeling that great, a hot coffee is the best thing in the world. And I just didn't feel like making it this morning. So we decided to make a pit stop on the way to the gym. That girl that gave me my coffee was so sweet. I didn't get her name, but she asked me, and I'm gonna ask you guys. She said, I have a fun question of the day. And I said, what would that question be? And she was like, do you prefer the top half of a bagel or the bottom half or both because they're both equally as good and my personal response was I prefer the bottom half just because I like crispy all bread has to be like crispy like toast and I don't know the bottom half of the bagel just gets more crispy you know French toast has to be like crispy like it's toast like the word toast is in it, so it has to be like toasty and crunchy and crispy. Like, I cannot stand it when people have French toast and it's like completely like nasty, soggy. Ugh. I literally cannot. Like, just the thought of it just makes me want to like throw up. All right, now we are headed off to club. I usually do not go to club in the morning for cardio. In order for me to recover, my coach just wants me to be doing like 15 minutes of cardio, 15 minutes sauna, 15 minute cardio, and then a little posing session. So I am heading to club because my other gyms don't actually have a sauna. I'm looking forward to getting in the sauna and kind of sweating out all these like toxins. I just started dealing with like a pounding headache, like in my, like, you know, right above the eyebrows, so. <sighs> Love that. Oh, so good. So good! Oh, I love coffee so much. I seriously have a coffee problem, but I just, just something about a warm cup of coffee in the morning just makes my world spin around, makes me so happy. It's the simple things in life, you know? Just got to the club. And I don't know, I always get like, almost like anxiety when I want to bring my Starbucks into the gym, just because I almost feel like it should be illegal. Sometimes I'll be like at Planet Fitness and I'll see like McDonald's bags like in the garbage and I'm just like, bruh. <laughs> I get it, Owen says everything, but at the same time, should you really be eating McDonald's right before you go to the gym? I mean, it is just coffee, but I just overthink, so I don't know. We're just gonna, we're gonna wing it. We're gonna do it. What are your thoughts on this? Like, I'm curious, leave in the comments below. Should bringing a Starbucks drink, a Dunkin' Donuts drink, McDonald's drink into a gym be illegal? Club going up on a Sunday morning. This is the earliest I've ever been here.
started sweating, I was that girl at the gym where I was like, oh my gosh, I don't want to sweat. I want to be cute. Um, these days, if I don't sweat, I don't leave the gym because that means I didn't put in enough effort. work for today is done chat with you guys before i leave the club parking lot i want to be blunt and real and honest and open with you guys because i wish i would have found a prep blog journey before i started my own personal journey so i'm here to help you and give you a real insight on my life and a real insight on my prep journey so this last week honestly has been super, super mentally challenging. Last vlog I had my refeed meal and I ended up getting somewhat sick from that meal. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, woke up in full on sweats, just felt like absolute crap and then a mental block. I was bloated so I just got into the mindset of, you know, I backtracked, you know, I have to completely start over again, like I lost all my progress. These were the types of thoughts I was struggling with and then I was going on social media. I personally follow a lot of professional bikini competitors because that's what I'm doing and I usually am super motivated and inspired by these women. But this last week I noticed that every single time I went on social media I caught myself comparing myself rather than feeling motivated by these posts. So it kind of made me feel like, oh my gosh, great. I'm not where I want to be and I'm stepping on stage soon. Super emotional and I just had to take some time away from social media this past week. After praying it over, after thinking about it, after taking some time away from social media, I came to the realization that we're going to be exactly where you want to be. But that's the beauty in it is, you know, we make a goal for ourselves and then once we reach that goal, we want something more and then we want something more and then we want something more, you know. Basically, what I'm getting at is we'll never be where we want to be, but that is the beauty in it. We were to wake up every single day and just be exactly where we wanted to be and be perfectly happy with our dream car, our dream life, our dream body, our dream everything, then we wouldn't have something to work hard for each and every single day. I am just trying my best throughout these next couple of weeks to just find the beauty in the process. Sure, I'm not gonna be exactly where I want to be this first time around, but I can keep getting better with every single competition. Nobody's perfect at what they do the first time around, you know? This is a journey, this is a learning and growing experience, beauty in it all, and enjoy every step of the way. <laughs> even the hard days, even the days where I just don't feel good enough, like just being real, being blunt with you guys. Whew, I kind of have like shivers knowing that I'm about to be sharing all this with you guys because I personally, have never shared my like deep mental blocks, thought process, social media, you know, falling into that comparison mindset, which happens every so often for me. So this is kind of like huge and like nerve wracking, but I just want to share with you guys because I want to be real and blunt and honest and open with you guys. And I also want to help you guys out. So if you're ever scrolling through social media and you notice yourself comparing, please take a step back, either unfollow this person or just take some time to evaluate why you're following them. Are they bringing value to your life? Do you feel like garbage every time you see what they're posting? Like really think about it because what we're soaking in, seeing, hearing is what we become and what we put out into the world. So we have to be sure that everything that we're reading, seeing and hearing is some type of positivity or bringing some type of value into our life because if it's not then it's probably doing the complete opposite it's probably you know doing some type of bad to you and you're projecting that out into the world and we don't want that so take some time if you ever do feel like you're in that comparison mindset and really Think about who you're following and what you're watching, hearing, and seeing, and reading each and every single day because it does impact your mental health. <gasps> okay, now I'm gonna head home. I'm starving. I'm gonna go eat some food and I will catch you when I get there. My anxiety is so high right now. <sighs> I need to pray for this turtle. As I was driving through the intersection, a car stopped and picked up the turtle. 
I personally am too scared to do anything like that just because I don't trust the creatures here in Florida to be honest with you like I don't know anything about the creatures down here like I don't know which snakes are poisonous which turtles are gonna eat me alive like I, I, I don't know so like I personally would not have the guts to do that so thank you Jesus beautiful omelets and oats and blueberries. Here we got pizza. I'm so jealous of you right now. <laughs> so we got, you know, the breakfast of champions, the Pizza Hut pizza. On this bad boy, we got premium high performance cheese. <laughs> the best Italian cut Pepperoni. Pepperoni. <laughs> this wonderful Canadian sauce is just packed with protein. <laughs> Can't go wrong. Sometimes you wake up on a Sunday and eat pizza. <laughs> Look, can John Wick... Make sure you get a good clip of me taking a big juicy bite of this egg. <laughs> can John Wick kill... Whoever gets the highest card goes first and gets to pick the color. Okay. Three. So, <laughs> sorry is the highest card. Sorry is the highest? Yes. Okay. Eleven. All right, guys, we are here at the Your Family Ranch, and we have a heated game of Sorry going on. Currently, the score is uh, zero to zero all across the board, and we're going to do some interview questions here. First up, we got Jaden. Jaden, what is your tactics to winning this game of Sorry? Um, I just do what I do and hope for the best. Excellent words from the rating champ at the Sorry table. Now we turn to the cheater of the game, Miss Wanda Lynn Yur. <laughs> Wanda Lynn, can you tell us your tactics of winning the game today? Well, I kind of just look around and I watch people and I watch the expressions and I kind of think about the cards and that's how I cheat. I usually win. I am the queen. <laughs> you heard it from her first. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Next on the roster, we have Mr. Jacob Yurna. He is the house mechanic. He's very good at math. Yes. I am interested to see his strategy in winning this game. Jake, what do you have to say about the game? <laughs> You know, I just show up and I throw it down. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> throw down, hoe down on the sorry tail. <laughs> Tune in next week for more. <laughs>
Every time I flex, I let one rip, so. She has cooked up the potatoes. Those are sweet potatoes, mind you. Not only are they good for carbohydrates, they taste sweet. But we got what looks like to be clay for meat. It's ground turkey. If you wonder where she gets the turkey, we live on 10 acres and we get them out back. So <laughs> nothing but the finest of protein for that woman's body. Actually one way across over yonder. Can't really see it. Maybe we can zoom in on it. Let's see. See him over there? Yep. So I myself, I'm gonna start a YouTube channel. Stay tuned. I haven't thought of a name yet, but it's gonna be around little ducks battling T-Rexes in a virtual game system. So, so yeah, stay You're tuned. Scaring my subscribers away. <laughs> um, so we're gonna take a poll down in the comments. Um, am I scaring subscribers away or am I bringing subscribers? The cousin duo. I just want to say I can't go anywhere without my cousin. I'm a scared 30 year old man. It is quite violent out it's there for people world. like us. Yes. So take your cousin with you. You know how they always say, uh, use the buddy system? Well, she's my jack buddy. So I take her with me everywhere I go. <laughs> Built like a box of spaghetti noodles. <laughs> I get asked a lot, why did I decide to move to Florida? And to be honest with you guys, my cousins and my aunt just offered me a place to stay and I figured why not? I literally have nothing in Michigan that was holding me back and it's been one of the best decisions I've ever made for myself. Dodge, how do you think I'm doing in Florida rather than when I was in Michigan? Like, just I, from the parts that you've seen. I feel like you've improved your life greatly. You picked up on your fitness a lot. Um, you did pick another state that I would not suggest moving to because everything's outrageous here. However, you have improved your life, so I guess it's done some good. But our next stop, stay tuned, next year we're, we are moving to Texas. So this is where my cousin gets her high protein. See those baby turkeys? She's got the babies. Well, mama's back there in the woods somewhere. However, the baby turkeys will do just fine. We pluck them, feather them, boil them, and we make turkey meat. And that's how we get the results of muscular growth. <laughs> we have some tilapia, quinoa, green beans, and some green tea. Last meal of the day, we got some spinach, egg whites, a rice cake, and some greens. All right, that is gonna conclude my three weeks out vlog. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a vlog with Jay again. Again, thank you so much for all your love and support. It means the most to me. I will catch you guys next week in my two weeks out.